Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, and I am here to share with you something that happened to me this week, and it may have been something you've done too, taking down all the Christmas decorations. <laughs> and we um, have a lot of grandchildren that come over, and we were very fortunate to have my granddaughter come from France this year. I, I have eight grand boys and one only one granddaughter and it was so wonderful to see her so i she left and now i've been taking down all the christmas stuff and i thought you know what i think this would be something you might like to see what was underneath my christmas tree this is something that was made in collaboration with nancy norman a wonderful wonderful friend who uh, often the two of us would sit down and plan out a design. And Nancy's a phenomenal quilter. She is no longer with us. She was just um, a dear, dear friend. And I'm so fortunate to have been able to work with her because this is one of the projects that we made together. It's made, it was my Christmas tree skirt that goes underneath my tree. It is a silk dupioni. It, yes, there is batting in there. I did not quilt the entire piece, which is kind of interesting because these are in, um, it almost looks like a triangle. You can see they're in little squares. I mean, little triangle pieces. And then the pieces were sewn together. And then what we did, and this was Nancy's idea, she came up with it. We took bias of, um, because again, this is all on the bias. And she took the little strips and said, let's just cover up the seams with this little piece of bias, turn it under and sew it together. And it just turned out beautifully. But I wanna share with you some of the ideas that we talked about when we were doing this. First of all, I wanted a design um, closer to the edge because you know when you have a Christmas tree skirt um, and I have a, a big room and I have a big tree that I put in there against the big tall windows. And so I wanted it real large. You know, I didn't want something little scrimpy or short. And I think if I can measure this correctly, and if I measure it from here to here, uh, yep, it's almost as long as this. So it is, this is about 40 inches. So it's a very, and so if you do it the diameter across the circumference, it's going to be a very big, long tree, a tree skirt, which is what I really wanted because then you can put it all the way around the tree. And the beautiful part of the um, edge of the, the, um, the quilted uh, tree skirt will show up. So you know how presents all pile up on your Christmas tree skirt and sometimes you don't see it. So I wanted the designs to be more on the outside and then on the inside I just wanted it plain so that we could go and look at all the panels. This is a Zunt design. This is a wonderful designer from, um, from uh, Switzerland. He has, uh, this was actually made on a Bernina. You can see the beautiful cardinal and the male and female, I guess. And then we, we should have put a little more red in her, but we didn't, we just tried that. You know, we did it, the, we literally made our own pattern for this. So this is something that you could easily do, just figure out how long you want it and then do your, your individual um, triangles and you'll be able to do it um, for your own tree next year. It did take a while. I would say we worked on this, the two of us for about a week, not solid but it because we had a lot of things that we wanted to do with it and we wanted to make sure that the embroidery was really um it would stand out and on each panel you can see as i turn it you'll see there's another one and then when i turn it to here you'll see there's another little uh, that's a female cardinal, in case you don't know. <laughs> I know, she does, like I said, she should have more red. And you probably don't know, but my husband's an avid bird watcher. I mean, avid. When he's got more, they have a list and everything. So believe me, he knows that there's more, supposed to be, there's a little red here. So it, you know, it might, might meet the test. And then again, a little bit more of the holly. And then let's go to the next one. And this is the male all by himself. And then we go back to the holly and you keep going around and that's pretty much what we did. However, there's some other things I wanna show you that I think would really be great. Along with the, the bias strips that we went down on the side, I wanted this to really show up well. And so what we did is we took a little scrap and tried it first and we took the wonderful decorative stitches that are in your machine and I did it with just the gold metallic thread. 
on the outside and on the inside I used a green so it would kind of blend in with the back. Isn't the black back pretty? It's almost as pretty as the front, except the front has got the silk dupioni with the embroidery design. So it's two very different things. But you can see each panel, you see how we went? And then we actually, the way this design was done, the seams were sewn together of each panel. And then I went around the entire skirt before the, um, the little pieces were put on over the seam edges. So then, and the entire skirt, so it really, really um, turned out beautiful. And you can see these are these are stitches on a Bernina, and they never broke. That's what is so wonderful. And it is, um, you know, I'm trying to think what thread I, I. It's one of the metallics we carry in the store, and I'm very careful with metallic. I really don't want to. Um, recommend a metallic unless I know it works perfect. Your machine, of course, has a lot to do with it, but it is important that you do have good quality thread. The next thing that I want to show you about this is the binding. And I do have a binding um, video that shows you how to, I, I like hand binding. I, that's just my thing. I'm very particular about my binding, so I do like to have it. And when I mean hand binding, when I say that, I sew it on one side and I turn it over to what is considered the wrong side. Right now, this wrong side is so beautiful. And then I hand stitch it. And that took a long time and Nancy did most of that. <laughs> but she was just amazing. She said, no, I'll take a while and go do it for you. And look at how many stitches there would be on this for hand binding, an awful lot. And if you don't know how to do a hand binding, um, I would suggest that you do come to one of the other videos. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, it'll be on there. And I believe all you have to do is type in binding and you'll be able to find it real quick. Can you put it on there? Oh, that's great. Nick will do that for you. And and there are a few, the one, one good thing about this is if you notice here, do you see the mitered corner on the binding? Um, there aren't too many of these because there's just two edges from here, here, and then on this side, and this side where they come together. Because see, this is your opening for your tree skirt. So see how you just have four bindings, one, I mean, four miter corners here, here, and here. And I do, like I say, like to fold them and hand stitch. Now, if this were a tree skirt that I was washing a lot, a tree skirt's gonna be used once a year, but if I, if it was say a placemat that you're throwing in the machine a lot, then you might wanna do one of the techniques that we show for um, sewing it on the right side, folding it to the wrong side, and then maybe using your blind hem stitch or your um, this little stitch right here. Um, there is an action, it's almost like a pico stitch and it, the little zigzags go over and over. And I don't know, Nick, if we can get that up close because this would be a really good one for you to see. When I do um, machine binding stitch, each one of these little points will cover. So if your binding slips a little, because sometimes it's really difficult to get it in there accurately, it will look really nice on both sides of your binding. I think that's it. We, um, I hope you um, are going to think about making one yourself for next year. It would really be fun. And now that the all the decorations are put away. I'm not sure I'm going to put all that much out again next year. I, I know some of you out there know what I'm talking about, but it, it's really fun. It, you know, especially those of you that are quilters and really love to quilt. Why not? You, you could take it. And the Silk du Peony um, is just such a wonderful fabric to work with. So use your creativity, try something that you'll love and share it with us. We'd love to see your pictures. So I hope you will send some to us. One of the things that I don't want to forget to tell you in this cold uh, January in uh, Chicago, we are having a January clearance sale. Some of you may have seen our warehouse sale. Uh, there are It's almost going to be over. You've still got a little bit of opportunity to do it. So I would definitely look online, give us a phone call. We have some absolutely marvelous things that are on sale. Furniture, if you're going to be like I am, I'm trying to get my New Year's resolutions in order. And one of them is to 
clean my sewing room, <laughs> organize it. And uh, furniture is on sale. So we have some really wonderful things that I know you'll love to check into. I hope that will be on your list too. Maybe not just the cleaning, but the organizing. And I hope to see you next week. Uh, definitely send me those pictures though. Thanks everyone.